Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The establishment of the Kyungi Market Commerce Promotion Institute, as pledged by Kyungi Province Governor Lee J. Myung, now appears to be on track for September. On July 16th, this year's second provincial supplementary budget, including 5.5 billion Korean won for the funding of this institute, was passed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. On the same day that the budget was approved, the eight members of the new Kyungi Market Commerce Promotion Institute Incorporation Committee began discussions on personnel requirements and related procedures. A core economic pledge made by Governor Lee, Kyungi Province targets September for the establishment of this institute. Through regional support centers, this institute will provide small businesses with comprehensive support from startup to closure. It will also undertake the operation and management of regional currency. This year, onion farmers in Korea are facing difficulties due to major price drops. To help these farmers, Kyungi Province organized online and offline marketing events to promote the consumption of onions. Organized by Kyungi Province at this large supermarket in Songnam City, an onion sale is underway with bags of seven to eight onions discounted by 20% and selling for 1,500 Korean won. According to the Korea Agro Fisheries and Food Trade Corporation, the wholesale price for 20 kilograms of onions has dropped to 8,400 Korean won, half of last year's price. Provincial onion marketing support events are taking place both online and offline. Kim's Club is featuring an onion sale with large discounts, while an e-mart branch in western Suwon is holding a processed onion sale event at its antenna shop until the end of this month. In addition, the Kyungi Cyber Market is offering discounts and free delivery service. 농산물 판매에 어려움이 있을 때마다 적극적으로 나서서 농가에 힘이 되도록 하겠습니다. Kyungi Province also plans to promote the consumption of surplus onions and garlic by supplying 5,000 tons of these products through direct markets, online markets, in-house restaurants, schools, and military installations. Kyungi Province announced its plan to develop a smartphone application that provides disabled individuals with amenity information, such as wheelchair access locations. Wheelchair and electric chair users often face difficulties entering buildings and using toilets without proper access arrangements. This application will provide information about amenities available for users of wheelchairs, electric chairs and strollers, as well as the locations of such facilities, including restaurants and accommodations, as well as cultural and tourist facilities. Wheelchair after database development and system testing, this application will be released at the end of this year for more than 7,400 locations. Kyungi Province will become the home to a drone application test site titled Drone Experiment City which will serve as a foundation for domestic drone market development. A total of nine enterprises will participate in the testing of drone applications at this site. The location selected for Drone Experiment City in Hwasong City, a relatively undeveloped site with an industrial complex nearby, is ideal for testing drone applications for urban needs. After completion of a drone control tower in July, Flight tests will take place until December without altitude or time restrictions. Such restriction-free drone testing was made possible with regulatory sandbox application approval by the Korean Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport. During a six-month period, 1,500 tests will be carried out 
using three drones. Through the operation of this drone experiment city with participating enterprises, Kyungi Province aims to develop guidelines and systems for drone operation to promote the domestic drone market. Participating enterprises agreed to cooperate in drone experiment city development, including related policy implementation and administration, as well as in technological and human resource support. With a national subsidy of 1 billion Korean won, drone testing will be performed in five application fields, including the monitoring of waste processing and construction sites, the measurement of industrial area air quality, and the prevention of illegal parking. Test results will be disclosed in December through Operation Reports. Kyungi Province expanded its Happy Car Share program, a free provincial vehicle rental service for weekends and holidays, by including patriots and veterans as beneficiaries. The inclusion of patriots and veterans among eligible Happy Car Share service users was announced by Kyungi Province with the enforcement of a related ordinance revision on July 16th. Patriots and veterans who wish to use this service may submit applications and status verifications via the Happy Car Share webpage, by fax, or in person. The revised ordinance also includes the expansion of utilization time periods as well as adjustments of approval deadlines and family priority order. Kyungi Province also plans to introduce unmanned services so as to enable users to pick up and return vehicles at any convenient time. During traditional holidays, notice of approval results will be delivered in advance so as to enable applicants to make alternative transportation arrangements. The priority given to families with more than one child will also be applied to passenger cars for more than nine persons. On July 18th, a Kyungi Province and Local Government Cooperation Committee convened, during which Governor Lee revealed his plan to introduce a policy market system through which local governments can select and implement locally beneficial policies. This committee meeting saw the participation of Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung, as well as 15 heads and 16 deputy heads of local governments in the province. Asserting that the province will provide local governments with active support in the implementation of their selected policies while assuring maximum autonomy, Governor Lee suggested the introduction of a policy market through which local governments compete for policies in good faith. Governor Lee also revealed his plan to expand support for northeastern regions of the province. Stating that the elimination of regional imbalance corresponds to the value of fairness, he affirmed his support of these regions in terms of policy and finance. At this meeting, a cooperation agreement was signed for four items, including the transfer of provincial administrative powers to local governments and the joint pursuit of Local Government Act revision. Kyungi Province plans to transfer 34 provincial administrative powers to local governments through policy meetings. During the meeting, Governor Lee also asked local administrators to actively participate in provincial initiatives, including the expansion of resting facilities for workers, the successful hosting of the 7th Korea Autonomy Expo, and the expansion of the Kyungi Province Central Cooperation Headquarters. On July 18th, the 2019 Global Developers Forum opened for a seven-day run at the Kyungi Arts Center. In addition to an art exhibition and experimental showcases, this international virtual and augmented reality show also featured lectures by global pioneers in these fields. 
Wearing goggles and gazing around, this visitor experiences a dream world in a vast virtual reality realm created by the artists. This virtual reality artwork transforms viewers into a tree in a rainforest, enabling them to experience a completely new type of existence created with advanced technologies. Marking its third year, the 2019 Global Developers Forum was organized under the theme of the expansion of experience, providing opportunities to appreciate the impact of advanced technologies on culture and the arts, as well as the possibilities. 이렇게 함께 해주시면 어, 세계의 새로운 VR, AR 기술의 방향성을 확인할 수 있으리라고 저는 생각을 합니다. Instead of two-dimensional renderings of creator concepts, this event offers a new immersive art genre that is completed through viewer experiences. This international event features an exhibition of 22 artworks by world-renowned artists, as well as meetings with artists and commercial exchanges. Il va la vivre de façon beaucoup plus émotionnelle qu'intellectuelle. Et ça, ça permet d'avoir une expérience, un souvenir beaucoup plus fort. The 2019 Global Developers Forum will run until July 24th at the Kyungi Arts Center. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.